Artificial stuff. Artificial. Artificial stuff. Controversy of magnitude. Yes. A piece of blood. Three. So it's difficult because we are a lot and you are here and I'm here. That's a good, a good position. It's, it would be better if I could be there too. It's not good to be there. I don't like to be 
here. Because it's, it, it makes it more difficult, because we have to share something. What happens in you when you see all those... Yes, it's a very famous piece of art. Very, very famous. So if we ask the same to Heidegger, he would answer you all those things, all those pieces of art, things, think, like Heidegger, very difficult, what is a thing for Heidegger? Oof. So all those things, all those works, always open the open of the world. All what you see before, always open the openness of the world. You are very surprised, no? So what it means? What, what, what is this? To always open the world. A modern contemporary art. So what is art? Art in his philosophy. No. Great philosophy. In his philosophy is a component of spirit. Together with philosophy and religion. That's for Dante. Dante. Art is a component of spirit together with philosophy and religion. So, if you agree, raise your hand. If you not agree, or if you don't understand, don't raise your hand. So, if you agree with this, raise your hand. One, two, two. So who is shy? special audience because when I talk to you I have the sensation, the feeling that you understand me. And so I, I don't give the time to translations because I don't I don't see on your faces that you can't understand me. You say when you open your eyes or you so you're dynamic. Someone who doesn't understand is not dynamic. You are very dynamic. So someone to forget you. It's because the audience is too thin. So, no judgment. Just let let be open to the sentence. We will see. We will see. That's a, a piece of art of Alafu Halassi, which is a very special artist, who changed completely the atmosphere. Always, he changed the atmosphere. So that's a, a, another one, other definition. 
The art is a company of spirit. Now, art is an open concept. Art is an open concept. Who is agree with this? Who thinks that art is an open concept? Well, but with some reservation, it's partly. It's partly an uh, open concept to the extent it's authentic, but uh, not all art is like that. There, are, there is also inauthentic art, and it's bad art, I would call. Oh, you cannot say inauthentic and bad at the same time, because inauthentic is never bad. Not necessarily, yes. Not Don't necessarily. forget, if you agree with what I said this morning about Heidegger's thought, Authentic, inauthentic, is a very important moment in life. Inauthenticity is very important for human balancing. So we need to be inauthentic. Very important. Uh, so, yes. I can feel that in your way to understand authentic in heart, it is a negative balance. May I ask a technical question, Metin? Uh, is it possible if you, um, he asks us questions uh, after? Uh, but but right now there is something spontaneous going on. Uh, what, what's your preference? Should I stop now and maybe later ask questions? I'm not the boss. You are the boss. What do you want? You decide. Not me. Well, because you? it's in in the form of dialogue. It is, uh, uh, Professor Hugo, uh, he, he doesn't just uh, explain, but also ask us questions to respond to him. Uh, after the speech, ask a question. Okay. Then you share your ideas with us. Okay. It's okay for me. I agree with that. I also think this. <laughs> so, further, the essence of art could become anti-essentialism. Anti-essentialism. Do you understand anti-essentialism? It means the essence of art is to have no essence. The essence of art has to have no essence. Sanatın özü bir anti özlüğe dönüşebilir. Yani sanatın özü hiçbir özünün olmamasıdır. Do you agree with this? Buna ait fikirlerimiz. So, art no essence. Sanatın hiçbir özü yok. Very difficult. Art, no essence. We imagine art, 
no way. Let's see. I'm sorry for to walk so. Yes? Great. It's important to ask a question because before to answer the question, you don't understand the question. So, what means anti-essentialism? In fact, it means that heart is an open concept. What is an open concept? An open concept is a concept without a sense. Because if it's what is an essence? Essence is a contrary of openness. It's not a problem. It's very important. Essence is very important in our world. We need essence. You see, essence means something which you can say it is this or it is that. Beautiful uh, concept of Husserl, the eidetic variation. Do you know the eidetic variation of Husserl? You know this or not? Yes, no? Eidetic, yes, translation. Eidetic variation. What is this? Maybe you can translate in English. Eidetic variation of Husserl. We use the same. The same? Editive variation. So, what means editive variation? Very, it's very interesting. Why can, you, why, why can you say that's a table? And that's a table too. And that's a table too. And they are not completely different. They are completely different. You see? Completely different. And you can say it's a table. Why? Because, says Husserl, you can variate the essence of the table. You see? You can variate the essence of the table. If you variate too much, it's not a table anymore. If you not variate as much, it remains a table. Same for a chair. You see? It looks very absent for a bottle of a glass. You know all those stuffs. It's not so obvious, no? A, very, a, a child, a child has experienced this. A glass is not that. Take your glass. And the kid, the child, the young one, take the glass. There was, there is just one kind of glass in the furniture. So for this kid, the glass is this. And you go to a friend, and a friend say, oh, can you take the glass? He will say, I don't see a glass. Yes, yeah, there. There is a glass, is there. He cannot see the glass. Because for him, the glass is what he saw in the furniture in his family. And then he would know that the glass is not that glass. Or not that glass. Glass is something else. A glass is all the variations of what is the essence of the glass. Right? It's okay. Identity variation. You grasp it. 
Let me see to your faces if you grasp it or not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, now you can understand what means art is anti essentials It means there is no, no eidetic variation in art. Everything is art. Everything is art. Art doesn't belong to an essence. You see? Art doesn't belong to us an essence. Is then art everything? What is then art? You see? Remember Hitler. He says, the first step was, I want to burn and kick all these artists out of my country because it is a degenerate art. Do you notice? Why is art so dangerous if it is nothing? If it is just bullshit? Why is bullshit so dangerous? So look to this piece of, this piece of art from Bartanski. This is this. So that's a piece of art, a very big piece of art. And just a close up, just one small. What you see are iron boxes, you see? And in each iron box, there is a souvenir of his life. From his childhood to his coming. So, you see, it's, it's boxes in iron. In the box, a souvenir of his life. You put all those boxes in the rain. And with the rain, it changed. And then he put all the boxes together and he made this piece of art. Can we learn? Can we try to grasp the artness of art wherever we are? 
wherever we are. It's possible to capture the power of this world. It's a very good slide to end, maybe. It is uh, Pompidou in Metz, not in Paris. It's an exhibition about Leibniz, a philosopher, an artist. And he said in French, Il n'y a pas de démarche valable qui ne soit une rupture des limites. Which means in English, no truly approach or step which is not a breakthrough a limit rapture. So, a truly approach, a truly approach of something is always a breakthrough. Without a breakthrough, there is no truly approach. It's just a, you see? So, if you really Try something, and that's art. If you try something in art, there is a breakthrough. And maybe, and that's the last, last one. So, I will conclude. Not conclude. And so, maybe you can understand that art is not something. Art is the event of an artist. Because that was my introduction. So I stop with the introduction. Because I would like, but it's pretty good to stop here, so I don't, I don't start with Heidegger ID. But is there a nearness, nearness. Is there nearness between art and an artist? Is there a link between art and an artist? For me, art is when an artist gives his life to art. If you give all your life if you spend all your life, all your time, to try to make visible something, I don't know what, something. If you feel in yourself that you have to spend all your life to do this, that's from the art. Whatever, whatever you do, authentic, inauthentic, good, not good, aesthetic, not aesthetic, Whatever. It's no problem. Because you, how am I to say to you, who spent your life in heart, that what you do is not hard? Who am I to say this? Hmm? Because you could spend all your life to do something with the great job to get nowhere. You can spend all your life to art and get nowhere. You see? Nowhere means that it leads you nowhere. It means that you cannot succeed. You never felt in your life that you make something visible. You see? Never mind, you are an artist and it, what you did is art. It belongs to art. It belongs to art. It's okay? I go to the end. It belongs to art because art is the humankind pathway of human beings who can cope with 
frigid nothingness, beings, being, whatever harmony or not harmony. It's impossible. It is a strong drive in yourself, very strong drive in yourself. I was myself a dancer and a choreographer. After my studies, and I was in Egypt on the Red Sea, and I have to do a choreography on the Red Sea. It was very incredible. And then it was a night very hot, I was in the desert, in the very, very hot. And in the night, I was thinking, shall I change the world? Am I the best choreographer in the world? Can, can, can I become the best choreographer in the world? And I say, no, no, no, impossible. And uh, I give my performance, it was very successful, but I stop. I stop. I go back to Europe and uh, I start philosophy after my studies. I start philosophy, to learn philosophy. But with the same, you see, so I know what it is to start with art and to stop with art. I know what it is, this quest. And the quest is art. Art is a quest without aim, without goal. Just a quest, like the ground of the round table, you see? So, let the question point out. Sanat bir arayıştır. 
asla bir kazanın bir hedef olmadan bir arayıştır. Sadece arayıştır. Şimdi sorular alabiliriz. So your questions or feelings? Sorular. Sizler. You can talk in uh, Turkish and we can say it to you. Maybe you can give the microphone. There was a microphone somewhere. You can give it uh, to those who want to talk. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. No. No. So speak loudly. Yeah. Okay. So um, we are in 2016. So uh, we have to embrace art since the beginning till now. It would be very easy if we had to understand art in the 80s, in so 1800, because there is a change operating in, in 1907. 1907, Duchamp and his uh, sculpture changed completely the way we could understood art. And since 1907, we have to try to know if it's art or not. It was not a problem before. Before it was very easy to know what was art and not art. But when an artist says art is not only this, but this too, who was agree with this? So when we start to have to be agree or not to agree, we start to know what is art. You see? And so, very slowly, we came to the moment to understand that art can be everything, but everything is not art. Very confusing, you are confused, but 
I can, I can understand that you are confused because it's very confusing. Everything, art can be everything, but everything is not art. You see? So, that's the reason why there is no essence in art. And that's the reason why we are so um, uh, in touch with art. For me, art was first an aesthetical and moving moment. And today, art is much more as aesthetical and moving moment. Art is really a humankind erectness. It means transpropriation. Thank you for such a question or who, who um, needs me to think. <laughs> um, if you mind about historical, the historic, historical uh, importance by having, right? And the link between historical and art. That's right? 
I would like a more uh, pushing question about uh, that philosopher was engaged with Nazism yes. quite often. Right. And he accepted his position in the Rekrustrate and he described a quite interesting position. So like, how can we reconcile this Heidegger with the Heidegger you are describing of like, you know, almost uh, opening us in quite an anti-essentialist way? I'm, I'm seeing that in early Heidegger, the Heidegger that we are witnessing in being and time and introduction to metaphysics, there's a very strong essence which of course. is a strong Germanness and acceptance of the okay. political position. I understand that. And I'm, I want to hear a bit more about, about your position or how can we reconcile the Heidegger you are describing with this other Heidegger that we need. I, I thank you for uh, your question because there was a confusing maybe. Uh, as you could read, the anti essentialism of art is not Heideggerian. It's Danto. It is that, not, not at all Heidegger. Um, I start just know. Normally, no, I have to talk about Heidegger now. I start with anti essentialism and then I came to Heidegger's thought, which is completely different. Because, uh, as you know, for Heidegger, at least uh, in his uh, article about heart, he talks about the fourfold, the fourfold Potapati, the fourfold between sky and earth, human beings and gods. And there is something about art, so completely different. Heidegger didn't reach. I am not sure that Heidegger understood art. That's the reason why, I, of course, I, I read this great article, very interesting, but um, it's not my Bible about art. As I, I, I see you, uh, art is something beyond. But never mind, there is another point you say, it was about Heideggerianism too. And then heart and ethic. What is ethic? Is there ethic in pain in time? A student in uh, Switzerland, I think he was in Switzerland, um, made his uh, PhD about the ethical aspect of being in time. And the professor in Switzerland calls me and says, Ado, I'm completely lost. Is there some ethical aspect in being in time? I need your advice. So is there tarihle ilişkisini, Heidegger'in tarihle ilişkisini ve bu konunun nasıl dile getirdiğiyle ilgili soru gelmişti. Konuşmacımız dedi ki sanatın anti özlülüğü burada Heidegger'e ait değildir, Dante'ye ait ve ben anti özlülükle buradaki sunumuma başladım ve daha sonra Heidegger'e geçtim. Heidegger sanatla ilgili olarak gökyüzü ve yeryüzü arasındaki sınırdan bahsediyor ve Heidegger'in aslında sanatı anladığından emin değilim. Tabii ki çok ilginç görüşleri var bu konuda kendisinin. Ancak sanatla ilgili olarak kendisinin eserleri benim kutsal kitabını belli bir şekilde söyleyebilirim. Sanat çünkü bunların ötesinde yer alıyor ve e, nazizmle ilgili konumunu sormuştunuz ve de etik konusunu. E, İsviçre'de bir öğrenci e, zamanda var olanın etik unsuruyla ilgili bir doktora tezi yazmıştı. We have to, to, to split moral, moral stuffs and etik. It's not the same. What is etik for me? Um, for me, ethic is questioning 
humankind. It means we have to question the borders of what could be and not regarding, according, humankind. Nothing to do with good or bad. You see? For me, art is freed from ethic. But I hope that there is ethic in art. You see? But art is freed from it. Can I hope that there is ethic in art? Is this hope not too much? You see? There are artists who play with ethical behaviors, who want to provoke me with this. Is it art or not? If they provoke me with something who can trouble my ethical basement, that's, I think, okay. Because it's very ethical to trouble my ethical basements. You see? But if art embody something non-ethical, that's a problem for me. That's my own limit. That's my own limit. I cannot talk about the limit of art, but it's my own limit. Because I need ethic. You see? I think a world without ethic is a it's a world where we lost humankind. Where and Yes, for me, Hegelianism, um, for me, philosophy has to change your life. Philosophy has to lead yourself to ponder what is humankind. So today, I need harmony between the human being philosopher and his philosophy. As I say it often, I'm not sure if I met Heidegger that I could still learn or be in Heideggerian thought. I'm not sure. You see? But I didn't meet him. So I know about his life. I know about the paradoxical. Because we know that to think about openness doesn't mean that you are open. I, I'm sure, but like in heart, I don't. It means I don't know who I am 
who I could be in the same problem, in the same area of this world. It's very easy with the distance to say a lot of things about, but how can we manage this? I'm sure that something happens like a breakthrough in Heidegger's life, which leads him to this other way of thinking. There is something happens, a really breakthrough, who change completely, completely, the way of thinking. And that's for me very interesting. I'm interested by being in time. I spend a lot of time with being in time, but I, I try to find the bridges between being in time and time and being. <coughs> between Dasein in being in time and Dasein in Ereignis or in Beiträge, what happens there? Was the Beiträge already in being in time or not? I think we cannot really think in the sun. We need darkness too. We need uh, dark moments or difficult issues in our life. And philosophy helps to change. Philosophy helps us to really transcend those things. That's for me ethical. Ethical is not to say to someone you're bad or you're good. For me, ethical means you can transcend your way of being and open yourself. This openness is very important. Benim için felsefe kesinlikle hayatımızı değiştirmeli ve insan türünü açılmamızı sağlamalı. Genellikle söylediğim gibi Heidegger'le tanıştığımda emin değilim. Yani onunla, onun düşüncesiyle aynı fikirde olacak kadar onu tanıyor muyum emin değilim. Yaşamını biliyorum, yaşadıklarını biliyorum. Bununla birlikte açıklığı düşünmek açık olduğumuz anlamına gelmiyor. Tıpkı sanatta olduğu gibi ve sanatla ilgili bahsettiğiniz gibi ben hiçbir şekilde yargılama yapmıyorum, yargılamıyorum ve bu dünyada kim olduğumu e, sormuyorum. E, Halde gelin dünyasında bence bir atılım olmuş olmalı, onun e, yaşamını ve e, bütün düşünce tarzını tamamen değiştiren. Bence bu çok ilginç, ben zamanda var olmakla ilgileniyorum. E, tıpkı daha zahirde olduğu gibi zamanda var olmakla e, var olmakta zamanı düşünüyorum ve bu ikisinin farkını düşünüyorum. Hayatta zor durumlara, zor konulara da ihtiyacımız var. Karanlık anlara da ihtiyacımız var. Ve felsefe bunları aşmamızı e, sağlıyor. Ve e, etik bence var oluş şekli, şeklimizi değiştirebiliriz, aşabiliriz anlamına geliyor ve açık olmamızı sağlıyor. Etik benim için bu. Thank you. Um, for where, where is creation, is, there is no nihilism. So, um, nihilism is the contrary of creation. Because nihilism means 